Hello everybody! This video is about how to restore deleted history, send files, contacts and passwords in Skype. Method 1. Creating a preparatory Skype data backup and using it for recovery. Go to Tools – Options – Privacy – Privacy settings. Find the section Keep history for and in the appearing menu choose the period for which it should be kept. Select Forever and click on Save. Now the chat history will be saved always and in full. In order to backup entire chat history, sent and received files do the following. Close Skype. Go to the folder C – Users – Username – App Data – Roaming – Skype. This folder keeps all Skype data, including all accounts that logged in Skype from this computer. The ideal option would be to create a backup copy of the entire folder. Copy these files to a flash drive, for example. Ready? Now, after reinstalling the operating system or formatting the hard disk, it is very easy to restore chat history as well as all sent and received files that existed at the time of creating the backup copy. All you have to do is to place these files back to the folder C – Users, Username, App Data, Roaming, Skype – after you have installed Skype. Method 2. How to restore chat history, received and sent files as well as access to an account where there is no Skype data backup. How to recover Skype chat history. After reinstalling the operating system or the application itself and when starting for the first time, Skype automatically downloads a part of its chat history and user data that is stored in the cloud. This data covers the last 30 days. So what should you do to recover Skype history for a period longer than the last 30 days? You should replace the existing file main.db, which is located here, C – Users – Username – App Data – Roaming – Skype – Your Login Skype – with the same file containing the entire Skype history. To get such file, let us recover Skype history file from the disk where the copy of the program with entire history was installed before. Run Hetman Partition Recovery and scan the hard disk. Click the Wizard button. Note, if you need to recover Skype history after deleting the program and reinstalling it, uh, running a fast scan of the hard disk will be enough. If the operating system was reinstalled and or the hard disk was formatted, scan the disk using the full analysis. In this case, I choose full analysis. Next. Wait until the scanning process is complete. Ready? The program has found a number of files. In order to find the necessary file quicker, use the search function. Just click on the magnifying glass icon in the upper right part of the screen, enter the file name in the appearing Find File window and click on Find. Ready? In my case, the program shows several files with the name main.db and I choose the one having the oldest date of creation and recover it. Ready? Now go to the folder C – Users – Username – App Data – Roaming – Skype – Your Login Skype and replace the existing file main.db with the recovered one. Ready? Skype history for over than the last 30 days has been recovered. In the same way, you can recover files received and sent via Skype. You will have to follow the same steps, but instead of the file main.db, you should find and recover all files received or sent with Skype or a particular file that you are looking for. Note, you have to know the names of files from the chat history that you need to recover. Then copy these files into the folder My Skype Received Files, which is located here C Users, Username, App Data, Roaming, Skype, My Skype Received Files. This way, Skype chat history will, will show sent and received files which were lost because of reinstalling Skype or Windows or formatting the hard disk. How to recover access to a Skype account If a password or even login to a Skype account was lost or forgotten, access can be restored like this. Before that, you should adjust the program settings to allow Skype run automatically, without checking the login and password, and then Skype will start in the common mode. 
Usually this option is activated by default, so you should have no problems. Now you need the file config.xml, which contains data on the user's login and password. You can get this file from a backup copy, and in the first part of this video I showed how to do it. After that, copy and replace it to the folder C – Users – Username – App Data – Roaming – Skype – Your Login – Skype. If there is no Skype backup copy, you can restore this file in the same way as with the file main.db or received and sent Skype files, that is, with the help of Hetman Partition Recovery. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I hope this video will be useful for you. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more.